Hello, second and third graders. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Today we are going to learn our fourth key to being a good reader. Now, just to recap what we've already done so far. Our first week we practiced close reading, which was taking in all the material we can, really absorbing it like a sponge so that we didn't miss any important details in a story. The next week, we focused on doing a little bit of predicting, thinking about what we know to help make an educated guess on what is going to happen next. And then last week, we focused on that visualization, thinking about reading books, especially books without pictures, and imagining what is going on in them. Or what characters might look like, or what might actually be happening, or using things we know about in our past experience to create pictures in our brain. That helps us know the details of the story even better as well. This week, we have a new key to reading, and this week we're going to be focusing on something called summarizing. Now, I think we've talked about this in class, if you remember back to when we were in class together. Summarizing is something we can do any time throughout the book or a book, but it's a perfect time for us to talk about it now because this morning you just finished listening to your last chapter of Dragon in the Sock Drawer. Now hopefully you thought it was an amazing book, as amazing as, amazing as I think it is. So to summarize it, what we want to do is we want to be able to retell the story or tell somebody what the story is about that hasn't read the story. Now to do this, there's a couple different ways to do it. So we'll pretend that Mr. S hasn't listened to the book, which he hasn't probably, but he came in to talk to one of you and he asked you, Dragon in the Sock Drawer, what's that book about? You could do a couple different things. You could try and talk for a half an hour about every single detail, things that happen in every single chapter, and take them through the book. And that would be a really, really in-depth summarization. But that's maybe a little bit too much. At that point, he might just want to go grab the book and read it himself. Now, he probably also doesn't want to hear a really, really, really quick one that doesn't tell him a, a lot of of information about the book so any summarization when we think we want to think beginning middle end so a really really quick one would be there's two kids jesse and daisy they find a dragon the dragon turns into a sheepdog does that tell us the beginning middle end technically it does but does that really tell us the whole story or really what this story dragon in the sock drawer is about i don't think so so what we want to do when we are summarizers we want to find that middle ground not too long not too short because part of the reason why we summarize is so that we don't give too much information but we still want to give enough so one thing we want to think about is to think about it almost like a mountain now in a story from the start you have kind of the beginning part that introduces some characters that's where we find out a lot of maybe not all the characters but in our story we'd find out jesse and daisy uncle joe aunt maggie a little bit even though she's not a very big character in the story and then as we get into what we call the going up the mountain we call this rising action we meet emmy who is a big character in our story and then we meet Dr. Anderson, who's kind of a big character in the story. And then, of course, St. George, our villain of our story. And then we get to what we call a peak or a climax. Now, our story, there's a couple different peaks and a climax. There's not one specific spot. But a big event, a big turning point in our story is when the kids lose their dragon, right? Now, another big climax peak of our story is when the kids get the dragon back. They get into that lab, they take the dragon back. And then we have some falling action, as we know we're heading towards the end of the story, where the kids take the dragon, they hide it, St. George comes for it. They 
Emmy goes and runs. She finds, goes to the barn. St. George and Uncle Joe catch him in the barn. They uncover all the hay, but Emmy's not there anymore. All of a sudden, she is a sheepdog. And then they find out that that is her masking. And then at the very, very end of the story, they show the sheepdog to Aunt Maggie. And of course, Aunt Maggie falls in love because it reminds her of her old pet. And so that's where the story ends with them getting to keep Emmy disguised as a sheepdog. So that's maybe a little shorter summary of a story where you introduce characters, say what happens, they find a dragon, they learn some things about the dragon, they find out there's a villain that wants to take their dragon, he does take their dragon, they make a plan to get their dragon back, they steal it back, St. George comes to try and get his dragon back, they hide the dragon, and then the dragon is able to camouflage itself as a sheepdog, and they get rid of St. George, and they're able to keep Emmy. I would say that is a good summarization of our story. So we can do that with anything. We could summarize just one chapter. Somebody forgot to read a chapter. Well, what happened? I missed school. I didn't get to read the chapter. Well, this, 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 and this. Maybe five things. A beginning, a beginning middle, a middle middle, a middle end and an end. Those things would maybe take us through a good summary and we could explain to somebody what happened so they were still caught up with the book. So we are going to be doing some practicing with that, maybe with a, a writing sample or something the rest of the week. So make sure you think about that and you might do it with a book that you've been reading while you're at home and filling out your reading log. So think about how you might want to summarize that. If you want to summarize the whole thing, what you've read so far, or just a little piece of it. Either way, we can add as much or as little detail as we want, but we want to make it so that somebody that's listening that hasn't read our book can understand. All right, kids, that's enough for today. Good luck on the rest of your work. Bye now.